All right, so get this. We're going deep on CTV today. Connected TV. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, it's all based on Sean Nolan's presentation. Clicks are cool, but have you tried Primetime? A programmatic journey to CTV. Catchy title. Right. So, you know, digital advertising, the clicks, the banners, all that. Yeah. But CTV, it's like the new frontier. Nolan breaks it all down, why it's exploding and how we can all ride this wave. Nalan's perspective is what's really cool here. You know, he gets programmatic advertising inside and out, but he looks at CTV like with fresh eyes. He even says insider's DNA with an outsider's POV. Love that. Totally. It's like he sees what others miss, you know, the opportunities and the traps. Mm -hmm. And he really stresses that to get CTV, you got to get the whole history of programmatic. Like he takes us back to the very first banner ad. 1994, right? Uh -huh. Seriously, that's like digital dinosaur age. I know. Then he hits these key moments like real-time bidding, that RTB, yep. in 2009. That was huge. Suddenly, advertisers are bidding on ads in real time, like yeah. super fast auction. So much change. And then, bam, cookie deprecation starts in 2020. That's shaking everything up. Right in the middle of all that, CTV pops up. Now, one's point is cookie deprecation isn't the end of targeted ads. It's the start of something way smarter, you know, privacy-focused. And guess what's at the heart of it? CTV. Bingo. So we're not just talking a new ad type. It's a whole new way of reaching people. And this is happening while the whole TV scene is changing too, right? Less cable, more streaming. Exactly. When's the last time you actually watched like cable TV? Honestly, it's been a while. Yeah. The streaming's just easier. Nalan's got stats. But 2027, CTV ad spending hits $41 billion. Billion with a B. Average U.S. adult over an hour more per day on CTV, while regular TV is down almost 40 minutes. Wow. Okay, so people are streaming like crazy, ditching cable. But why is CTV so hot for advertisers? Just the bigger audience. Partly, yeah. But it's the targeting. Way beyond basic stuff. Device type, IP address, time of day, even what they like to watch tells you about them. So if I'm selling, like, organic dog food, I target people watching dog shows. Exactly. You hit people who are already interested, right in their living room, relaxed, open to your message. That's CTV's power. Now one even says CTV can boost your other marketing. Like he mentioned a B2B campaign, 235% increase in new users, 94% increase in search click-through rates, all thanks to CTV. Huge impact, right. It's not just CTV alone. It's that omni-channel approach, making everything work together for the customer. Like CTV's the quarterback calling the plays. Exactly. But like any good game plan, you got to know the plays. True. I bet CTV has its own quirks, things to watch out for. Oh, definitely. Nalan stresses this. Define your business goals first. What are you trying to do with these ads? Brand awareness, website traffic, leads. It's like anything. You can't just throw money at it. Right. Goal shape everything. Then you think platforms and partners. There's a whole world out there, some for big brands, some for smaller targeted campaigns. Got it. Strategy first, then the right tools. But uh, cost. Now, Leo mentioned CTV could be pricier than like display ads or online video. True. CPM, cost per thousand impressions, CTV can be way higher, but you're hitting a better audience in a better place. Like, he says, displays around $1.50, online video, $6, CTV averages $19. Okay, so not cheap. How do we get the most bang for the buck? What are the optimization tricks? That's where supply path optimization comes in, SBO. It's about finding the most efficient route to your audience, like a GPS, no detours, just straight to where your ad needs to be. SBO, cut the clutter, spend wisely. But what about transparency? Why is that such a big deal with CTV? Transparency, it's like seeing exactly where your money's going, making sure your ads are on real platforms, shown to real people, no shady stuff. Nalan's a huge e-advocate for that, builds trust in the whole industry. Makes sense. Nobody wants to pay for ads shown to bots. Transparency means real people, real potential customers. But what about that thing where you see the same ad over and over, ad duplication? Oh yeah, that's annoying. Nalan's got some ideas. One is focusing on specific locations. Narrow your target, less chance of the same people seeing it a million times. So smarter targeting, not just wider. Right. And limit the platforms you use. Fewer platforms, more control over how often your ad shows up. Got it. So targeting and platform choices, key to fighting duplication. Now this one's cool. Custom bidding algorithms. Nalan talks about them like hacking the system. What's that all about? It's about going beyond the usual metrics, those standard KPIs, and optimizing for what your business actually needs. Taking control. Okay, now that's interesting. Not just accepting what the platform gives you, but making it work for you. But how? 
Imagine bidding based on lifetime value of a customer, brand lift, or reaching new W people. Stuff that goes way beyond simple clicks. So not just the most views, but the most valuable views, ones that actually build your business long term. Mm. Clever. But how do you measure all this? What numbers should CTV advertisers be watching? Nellen warns us about those vanity metrics, numbers that look good but don't tell the whole story. Like what? Give me a CTV example. Total views, but you don't know if anyone actually watched the ad. Just that it was displayed. You gotta go deeper. So beyond the surface, see how people actually interact with the ad. What are some better metrics then? The good platforms have a bunch. Viewability, so how much of the ad was actually seen. Completed views, meaning people watched the whole thing. That's way more useful than just knowing it popped up somewhere. And there's more. Cost per site visit, cost per download, cost per acquisition, brand lift, incremental reach, even lifetime value. Nalan's all about embracing this. Measure everything. Experiment. Refine as you go. This is a lot to digest, but I can see the potential is huge. This has been a great overview so far. Just scratching the surface. I bet. <sighs> we'll be back soon to keep digging into Sean Nellen's CTV wisdom. So before we got into all those practical tips, we were talking about measuring how well our CTV campaigns are doing, making sure we're not just wasting money, right? Exactly. Now, Nellen's big on going deeper than those vanity metrics. It's not just, did people see the ad? It's, did it actually do something? Sales, brand awareness, that kind of thing. But how do you measure that? It's not like we can follow someone after they see a CTV ad and see if they run out and buy our product. Well, almost. You can get pretty close if you've got the right tools. Nalan's big on attribution, figuring out like which touch points led to a sale or whatever you're aiming for. It's like detective work. So someone sees a CTV ad, Dix Nayen, goes to our website and buys something. We can connect those dots and say, hey, CTV played a role there. Exactly. There are some really powerful tools out there to do just that. It can get tricky, especially with all the different channels people use these days. But to really know if CTV is working, you got to nail that attribution. Sounds like it can get pretty technical. It can. But Nalan also has some simpler tricks for those who might not have all the fancy software, like pre and post geographic tests. OK, what's up? Basically, compare results in places where you diddy run CTV ads versus where you didn't. Gives you a good sense of whether those ads move the needle, more website visits, more sales, whatever you're tracking. Clever. Measuring the impact without needing a supercomputer. It's all about connecting the dots, right? Yeah. Speaking of which, Nalan talks about the omnichannel approach to CTV. What's he getting at there? It's about thinking bigger than just CTV itself seeing how it fits into your whole marketing strategy, yeah. make it work with search, social media, email, the whole shebang. So like CTV is one instrument in the orchestra, but you got to make sure it's playing the right notes with everything else. Perfect analogy. And now Lynn gives a great example with search campaigns. Oh yeah. Tell me more. There was this B2B company. They saw a huge E jump in their search click-through rates after running a CTV campaign. Basically, the CTV got people familiar with the brand. So later, when they searched for that company or product, they were more likely to click on the ad because they recognized it. Exactly. CTV primes the pump, makes all your other marketing work harder. A rising tide lifts all boats, as they say. Right. Use CTV strategically and your whole marketing ecosystem benefits. Okay, so... We've talked measurement, omni-channel. Now let's get into the nitty gritty. Building a CTV campaign from scratch. Where do we even start? Now let's clear on this. Just like any good marketing, it starts with knowing your audience. Who are you talking to? What are they into? What are their problems? Makes sense. You gotta know who you're talking to before you can figure out what to say. Exactly. Ugh. And CTV has so many targeting options to help you get super specific. We've talked about some, like demographics, location, what they like to watch, but Nalan takes it a step further with something he calls contextual targeting. Ooh, that sounds fancy. What is that? It's about matching your ads to the content people are watching. Like if you're selling a travel app, put your ads on travel shows, documentaries, that sort of thing. Catch people when they're already thinking about travel. <laughs> Smart. Right. Context matters. Put your ad in the <clears throat> right environment and it's way more likely to grab attention. Meet your audience where they are, literally A and D mentally. And don't forget, CTV is a lean back experience. Meaning people are chilling, enjoying the show. Exactly. So your ad's got to be visually appealing, engaging, something that sticks in their mind, not just another annoying commercial. More like a, a mini experience. Nalan even says, think of them as mini movies, little stories. I like that. Not interrupting the fun, but being part of the fun. And of course, you got to make it for CTV specifically. Bigger screens, better sound, everything's got to be top notch. Go big or go home. And don't be afraid to experiment. 
different ad formats, different lengths. There's no one right answer with CTV. So be creative, be strategic, and be ready to test, test, test. That's the name of the game. CTV is such an exciting space right now, so much potential, and it's just getting started. This has been a great deep dive into Nolan's CTV world. Mm. Are we ready to wrap things up or is there more to uncover? One more part to go. We'll be back in a flash to finish up this fascinating topic. Okay, final stretch of our CTV deep dive with Sean Nolan. We've talked targeting, creative, measurement, that whole omni-channel idea. Right. Now it's all about optimization, because CTV, it's not a set and forget it thing. It's always changing, so you got to keep tweaking. So, optimize. How do we actually do that? What are the, like, the buttons we can push to get better results? Nalan's all about the data. It's not enough to just launch a campaign and see what happens. you got to watch those numbers, see what's working, what's not, and adjust. Be a data detective. I like that. Always on the case, looking for clues to make things better. Exactly. And luckily, CTV platforms give you a ton of data. Nalan says, don't just look at the basics, like impressions. Dig into the stuff that really matters for your business. We talked about some of those metrics, right? Give me a refresher. Viewability, completion rate, engagement, how it affects your brand, website traffic, even actual conversions. Right, right. Not just did they see it, but did they watch it? Did they C-L-I-C-K? Did they de-do what we wanted them to do. That's the stuff. Watch those numbers and you'll see where you can improve. So like low viewability, maybe the ad itself needs work or we're targeting the wrong people. Could be. Or no one's clicking through to the website. Maybe our call to action is weak. It's all connected. It is. Now one's big on A-B testing too. Oh yeah. That's where you try different versions of the ad and see what wins, right? Exactly. Headlines, images, calls to action, how long the ad is, who you're showing it to test it all. Takes the guessing out of it. For sure. Nalan says, be curious, experiment, keep testing till you find that sweet spot. Got it. Be flexible because CTV moves fast. Yeah. Okay, last thing. Future of CTV. What's Nalan see down the road? He thinks CTV is going to blow up even more. And lots of experts agree it's the future of TV advertising. Makes sense. More people ditch cable every day. Streaming's just taken over. And now in CCTV getting even more connected to other marketing, like a super personalized experience. You see a CTV ad, then get an email with a special offer, then see that same product on social media. Whoa, it's like marketing that follows you around. Kind of creepy, kind of cool. The key is do it right. Mm -hmm. Nowlin's big on transparency, respecting people's privacy, even with all this fancy tech. Good point. Okay, so that was our deep dive into Sean Nolan's CTV world. We went from the history of all this to the ins and outs of CTV itself, how to target, how to be creative, how to measure, how to optimize. And always thinking ahead. Exactly. CTV is definitely here to stay. And for those who get it, the possibilities are huge. Thanks for joining us on this one. We'll be back soon to explore more of the crazy, ever-changing world of marketing.